Hey everyone, just wanted to post a really quick off the cuff video. I don't even have my mic with me, so I'm hoping that this sounds okay. But uh, I'm, I am here safely tucked away on my mountain and I feel for all of you that are in cities right now. And I just, I really hope that you guys will take heed to some of the other videos I've posted about getting out of cities. It is very clear that it is open season on the right and you need to get away from the people that are gunning for you. And the left is gunning for us. Um, the whole point of this video though, I, I, I really believe deep down that last Wednesday's Capitol riot was a setup. It was a setup by the left to goad the right into violent action because up until now, the right has always had the argument of having higher ground, of being the moral, uh, side of the argument and being the nonviolent side of the argument. And we lost that. We, we lost the high ground that we had and that was purposeful. And I'm sorry that I'm jittering right now, but I've got a crying baby, um, here on, in a little papoose. And so we're, we're going to rock and you guys are going to rock with me. And we're going to hope that he stays quiet long enough for me to, to vent about this for a few minutes. But that was a setup if I've ever seen it, you know, and, and I see all these Trump supporters, I see all these people on the right trying to say that Antifa started it and it was all Antifa and BLM and Trump supporters are totally innocent. And to me, that is just either, you know, being willfully ignorant or blind or naive. You can watch that footage. It wasn't just Antifa. And while I do believe that there were probably a lot of Antifa out there dressed as Trump supporters, it wasn't all of them. You know, there were hundreds of people that stormed that Capitol. It wasn't just Antifa. So we, we have to acknowledge the fact that we really, we really screwed ourselves this time. And people took the bait. They decided to act violently. And we lost whatever, you know, moral high ground that we had. And so now the left is using our actions, even though our actions, even though like, like, this is what makes me so angry is that the media and the left have been justifying violent action for the last year. They've been supporting it. They've been, you know, championing it. And, you know, this, I, I always knew like the minute that the right decided to adopt their tactics, they were going to switch it up like they always do, like the hypocrites they are. And they were going to turn around and use that that one violent reaction that we have to completely stomp us out. And that's exactly what they're doing. And I really wish that the right at, at that rally last Wednesday had the foresight to realize that. And I know a lot of people did. You can see it on, on video. There's a lot of Trump supporters that are stopping, you know, trying to stop the violence, trying to stop the destruction. But they were outnumbered by people who had very hot tempers and, you know, had let their anger get the best of them. And they reacted violently. And I don't blame them for doing that. You know, like I totally get it. I understand it, but it was foolish. And now we're all going to pay the price. And, you know, you look at Twitter right now, there are tens of thousands of people losing their accounts. Uh, those people are trying to go over to Gab and Parler. And now Parler is going to be getting taken down. Um, it is open season on conservatives right now. So, you know, please be very careful out there. And um, I think... Um, I think I'm going to be posting to BitChute a lot more often. It's easier to do from up here on the mountain. Trying to post to YouTube, I have to go to the library in town to, to get everything situated. BitChute's just so much easier to do from here on my phone. So, um, you know, start, start if, if you don't subscribe to me on BitChute, there's a link in the description below. I'm going to have more content there. And that's a safer place where we can actually, you know, be ourselves and be more open and not talk in riddles and, you know, not try to skirt around issues. So um, be careful out there. And I know in my past videos, I've urged people to get out of the cities, but I, I can't express that enough right now. You know, get out of leftist cities. They are coming for all of us. And whether that's online or in person, we're seeing, I just saw today, um, a lot of people on the left are doxing their own family members. They're, they're finding out that family went to the rally and they're alerting the FBI. So be very careful and be careful who you talk to, be careful, um, you know, what you're doing right now on, on, you know, the, the main social media channels and just, um, 
take care of each other and, and reach out, build communities where you can, but be safe. All right, take care, everyone.